Before we get too far into this video, we are hosting a $50 donator pin giveaway. All you have to do to enter is to like the video, comment your in-game name, and subscribe to the channel, and you are good to go. And with that being said, let's get started. It is time to spin the wheel for episode 3. Please don't send me to the wilderness, please! Oh, obtain thralls. Not bad, actually. And we have plenty of options on how to go about that. Option number one would be to obtain it from the world boss, Zamfer, but sadly it is not a farmable boss, so it is very inconsistent. Option number two would be to obtain it from a wilderness vault, but I'm going to be honest with you, I want to avoid that at all costs. And option number three would be to obtain it from a borrow's chest, which is exactly what we're going to be doing. It is the easiest, the safest, and the most guaranteed. Hopefully we get spooned very early, because I do not feel like doing borrows for very long. Before we get into the action, I wanted to take some time to recognize a few of the fallen hardcores from this past week. Starting with Aloha, who was bested by an Angel of Death in the Wilderness Vault with a total level of 1985. A fitting and respectable way to go. Next on the list, DKNG was hunted by a PKer by the name of Mr. Do-It-All with a total level of 563. He really does do it all. Up next, we've got Why Try It Why, who was smited down by an Adamant Dragon with a total level of 1467. I guess you could say he couldn't take the heat. <clears throat> and finally, a player by the name Games So Easy was also PK'd by a player named Future Lives with a total level of 1037. The game really isn't that easy, is it? There were quite a few more, but I figured these were a few of the more memorable ones. RIP, my fallen brothers, and good luck on the next run. We spent a few days in the AFK zone and got ourselves 80 crafting, which means we can finally make ourselves an Amulet of Glory. Thank the Lord, because I'm tired of this Strength Amulet. Ah, that's much better, dude. Mwah. Next stop, a Fury. Alright, chest number one. Give me the book. Oh, no book, but we did get a Baros Totem. Okay, dude. And a lot of runes. Okay, not bad for a first chest, man. Chest number two was an oopsie doodle. This is chest number three. Boo! God, that's a lot of runes though. Chest number four. Come on! Oh, ah, oh, ah, we already had that, bro. We're getting dupes. Two. I'll tell you what, I am tired of all these Baros chests. We are 50 chests in with no Book of the Dead. I think it's time to open some clues. We have 27 hard clues and four medium clues, and of course I'm gonna start with the mediums and maybe we snag ourselves a pair of ranger boots. No, holy sandals, no. You know what, that's actually not bad because it's prayer boost for our feet. We don't have to use mystic boots anymore. Whatever, dude, I'll take it, gimme, gimme. One more medium clue and it's gonna give us some teleports and some swordfish, awesome. And this is the total loot from 27 hard clues and four medium clues. Fellas, I did this with a clue booster active. You can get them from the vote shop. They are actually kind of OP. And all right, with the fun stuff out of the way, I guess it's time to go back to Burroughs and get our book of the dirt on board. Ooh, give me that, dude. Kara's leather top whilst we were doing the tunnels. Give me, give me. Okay, we got a plate body drop before opening the chest. That's a good sign. Now give me the book. Boo, boo. Ooh, Carol's crossbow. Very nice, actually. I need that. Gimme, give gimme. Give it's one of the very few pieces I actually want from this grind besides the Book of the Dead, so I will happily take it. <gasps> yes! 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 Oh my god! Yeah! <laughs> Double chest, bro! Book of the Dead and a Carol skirt. Oh, we're done! Absolutely! Oh, that feels so good, dude. Holy moly. It only took... Now, it only took 69... <laughs> 69. <laughs> this is our total loot from this grind. We ended up getting our Book of the Dead, 112 Baros totems, and 23 Baros pieces. For those of you that don't know, the Baros Totems will take you to Rise of the Six, but that's for another episode. 17 out of 25 Baros pieces obtained, this will be a finished log very soon. Now for those of you who don't know why I'm so excited to have gotten this book, not only was it the challenge for the video, but it is also such an incredibly big upgrade, and let me explain to you exactly why. Summon Thralls will assist you in combat for a limited amount of time, but as long as you have enough runes and prayer points, you can just summon them again after they've expired. 
Thralls are mainly used for bossing, but can also be used to help boost slayer tasks or farm drops. Having this out of the way so early on the account frees us up to not have to worry about it in the late game. Could not be happier with how this turned out. Completing our first bowl of tears and it's gonna give us how much XP? 15,000 cooking XP. Huh. Pog. <laughs> you know what? At least it's something. I'll take it. After many tireless hours training runecrafting at the AFK zone, we are finally 77 runecrafting. Yahoo, dude. Thank God this is here, bro, because I did not want to craft runes on a five times rate. Not at all. This is exciting because once it's time to start doing runecrafting, we can just kind of AFK blood runes, which is going to be mwah, beautiful XP. And just like that, we are 80 prayer, dude. A big milestone on the account, especially on the times five. 19 levels until I never have to worry about burying another bone or killing another insult head ever again. I think it's time to upgrade to a torso from the vote shop, which is kind of a waste, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really care. It's worth the 12 vote points to get absolutely shredded, dude. I've been doing a lot of AFK training recently, so I think it's high time we end up making ourselves a Ring of Life. It's just a safety thing, and we don't have a ring yet anyway, so Ring of Life will do. Forgot I had a couple of extra void points. That is 70 range and 90 strength. Easy peasy, dude. With those out of the way, I'm not sure what the plan is from here, but we're gonna go do something uh, productive, surely. One hour later. Oh man, this is gonna hurt, but we finally have enough points for full elite void, every single helmet as well. I figured since I'm at pest control and an event was active anyways, we may as well just get her done. But I'd so much rather just spend this on XP, bro. Right now, one pest control point would get us 3,400 strength XP each. Oh my god. So we're fixing to spend a little over 1 million strength XP on a five times account on void, but uh, it's worth it in the long run. And upgrade my void piece and we're done, dude. Full elite void with all helms has been obtained. I'll most likely end up using this to AFK train for now, but in the future as well for like Chambers of Zarek and blah blah blah, it'll be very handy, but at the moment all I can think about is my missing strength XP and I'm just sad. Time to initiate Gigantic Brain Protocol. We're going to take all the Chaos Runes we ended up getting from our Barrows grind, and we're going to sell every single one of them to the Czar Rune Store. Ah, uh, okay, this might take a second, hang on. Definitely didn't use an auto-clicker for that, but at the end of it we have 434,000 tokol. Our first purchase is going to be a pair of Obsidian Legs, which have Strength Bonus on them. Gimme, gimme. It is only plus one Strength Bonus, but it is more than we had before, so I'll take it. But the real reason we did this was to buy ourselves an uncut onyx because you probably guessed it by now, we're getting ourselves a fury. But Effigy, you've only got 85 crafting. How are you gonna make yourself a fury? Well, let me show you. Grab a couple of magic levels because I completely forgot we need magic for this. And now the cherry on top that's gonna make this whole thing possible is a reward in the vote shop not a lot of people know about. And that would be the spicy stew, which raises your skills by five and only costs four vote points. So now all we have to do is drink our stew, cut our onyx, create the onyx amulet, string it, take a sip of our magic potion, and enchant the onyx jewelry and bada bing bang boom, we have got a fury by episode three, boys. <laughs> Feels good. It is not a huge upgrade by any means, but it is two more strength bonus, three more prayer bonus, and a bunch of defense bonus. And I mean, come on. It looks way better. And it opens up the possibility of making a blood fury in the near future, so that is also something to look forward to. These are the stats by episode three, and you can tell I've been a little AFK rat because I have one hunter and one fletching. Uh, and 17 herbalore, but we won't get into that. Three episodes in and I haven't gotten a chance to buy a single perk yet, but very soon, fellas. Very, very soon. We have our first superior and I'm gonna make the joke. I'm, I'm gonna make the joke! Sheesh! Look at that booty! God! Yeah! Please, Eternal Gem, bro. Please, please just spoon me out my skull right now. Please! Yeah. Boo! Boo! As always, fellas, thank you so much for giving this video a watch. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is to like the video, comment your in-game name, and subscribe to the channel, and you are good to go. And with that being said, I will see you gorgeous Goombas in the next one. Hey Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your short hair. Do you even care? You got a bad attitude, mix it with a bunch of tooth, and all you're left with is a menacing 
stare Watch that taste out your mouth, little princess How you gonna tell me that your life is worth